Alléluia. Ah, Alléluia. Ah, Alléluia. Ah, Alléluia. Allez, allez, allez. Alléluia. 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 Oh, come and lift up your voice, lift up your hands and worship him. Shout hallelujah. We are coming, King. We join them before elders. We shout hallelujah. Glory, glory to Jesus. Glory, glory. We join 24 elders. We shout hallelujah. 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 For those things you have done, we shout hallelujah. For those things Yes, Father, we praise you. We give you all the glory, honor, and adoration. O oh Lord, dominion belong to you forever. Thank you, Father, for giving us this great moment. The moment of standing alive and praising the almighty God. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. And there is none like you, O oh Lord. Thank you for thinking of love. Thank you for forgiving our sins. Thank you for keeping us alive. Thank you for keeping us standing. Thank you, Thank you for making us to see this Thank day. You, Thank you for the past days of Thank the year. You, Thank you for the remaining days of the year. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. You. Thank you for this moment of dominion mandate. Oh Lord, we give you praise. Let everything that had breath praise him this morning. Church, would you lift up your voice and make a joyful noise, a joyful noise, a joyful noise, a joyful noise in the presence of the Most High God. Father, we thank you. The month of October is going to an end again. And, they, and gradually we are getting ready for the new year. That year, as the Spirit of the Lord has told me, is the year of raining season. A rain of joy, a rain of favor, a rain of blessing, a reign of glorious manifestation is going to manifest in 2022 in the mighty name of Jesus. And as we are getting ready, we are going to start preparing it right from now. We will pray into the new year. God will answer our prayer. And I declare today in the presence of the Most High God, may you enter your worldly place. We submit ourselves, O oh Lord, to your spirit, soul, and body. We rededicate our life, O oh Lord. Lord, we ask that you take control today. Take control forever from the beginning to the end of this service, oh Lord. Let your name be glorified. Thank you, Father. I pronounce according to the mandate given in Genesis chapter 1 verse 28, you will be fruitful in the mighty name of Jesus. You will multiply in the name of Jesus. You will replenish the earth in the name of Jesus. You will subdue the earth in the name of Jesus. You will have dominion in the name of Jesus. You will influence the world for God in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you praise. Lord, we give you praise. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Let's take a seat. Today's message, this is the fourth Sunday. I want to welcome everybody to the presence of the Most High God and to the people that are joining us online. May the Lord bless you. May the Almighty God bless you, I say, 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Dominion mandate, we have been experienced the presence of God in the past four Sundays and today is part four and it is titled the royal dominion, living like royalty. Praise God. By the special grace of God, very soon uh, from the beginning of uh, November, we're going to start a program. I am coming live on Facebook. Praise the Lord. So you are all invited to join us there. It's going to be awesome. We have been preparing for this for some time now. And Dominion Mandate with Ebenezer Agitena live on Facebook is going to start on Monday, November 1 uh, by 7 p.m. We're going to be running two sessions of this Dominion Mandate. Praise the Lord. So Monday, November 1 is the start and it's going to be 7 p.m. That's the English. And on Friday, uh, November 5, it's, going to be, it's the same time, 7 p.m. And that will be Yoruba version of it. And that is how the program is going to be going on every week. Every week until Jesus comes. Praise the Lord. In Genesis chapter 41, take us to the scripture. Genesis chapter 41. <laughs> Hallelujah. Then yes. Pharaoh sent and called Joseph, Aha. and they brought him asleep out of the dungeon. Hallelujah. And he shaved himself and changed his raiments. And I love Pharaoh. this. I love this man so much. He did not, because of the royal opportunity, fail to dress up himself before he appears. You know, somebody who has been in the dungeon eh, for ages, as a matter of fact, he was a lifer. Who is a liver? Somebody who will live and die in prison. That we, he, he was jailed for life for committing no sin. Excuse me. Whenever the wicked one sees the, the, the shining of your glory in future, hell will lose. That is why you see them. Because they know that your head is prepared for a crown. They want to put you in trouble so that you won't have the crown. The problem started for Joseph right from his own home. The first enemy he, he confronted was not Pharaoh. Was not the Egyptians. Was not even the, the Ishmaelites. Was his own people. His own blood. May God deliver you from bloodline hostility. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. See how he suffered who put him in trouble? His own people. They made a statement. They said, let us just kill him. When we kill him, and we will now see what shall become of his dream. So they know that he had a great future. They knew that he had a future. He had, he had a dream that if this dream should come to pass, oh God, he's going to be the head of the entire family. Whether they like it or not, it, it came to pass. It came to pass. He told them his vision. He told them, that are, we, are we going to bow down for you? Are you going to rule us? Well, we are going to destroy you. In their heart, he was dead. In their heart, you don't know the means of the family you have been raised. You don't know. They, they can see your star through another means, through another vision. They can see your star even before you see it. There are some powers. Those who see other people's glory before the owner of the glory will see it. I blindfold them today in the mighty name of Jesus. Any power that want to destroy the glory before you see it, I destroy their forces today. Oh God, I say I cancel them today in the name of the father in the name of the son in the name of the holy ghost glory killers glory destroyers i command them to to be silent forever in the name of jesus if there is anybody in the four corners of your family that wants you to die that wants your glory never to manifest i speak with the authority of the king of glory today may god silence them may all their weapons be destroyed whoever dig a hole will fall in it no weapon form against you shall prosper every tongue that resting is in judgment you will condemn them in the name of jesus whether they like it or not your glory will shine either they like it or not i say you will shine the glory of your children will shine they are coming up you will arise you will shine whether they like it or not you will shine because your time has come and the glory of the lord is risen upon your life somebody shout fire hallelujah and they sent for joseph 
before they sent for Joseph, he has suffered a lot. Can you, can you think of the most painful one? The person who forgot him when his own vision was interpreted by the same Joseph. How many people have you helped in life and they never remember you again? The guy did not remember. The moment he started enjoying, he forgot about Joseph. Don't be annoyed when people you think, that is your thinking, may not be the plan of God. People you think should get you out of a particular uh, situation fail to do so. Don't be annoyed. They are not sent by God. Or God programmed them for a deferred action. If the guy remembered Joseph at that time, the king had no dream at that time. Don't try to arrive before your day. If we need to put more endurance in whatever situation we find ourselves, let's do it. All I know is that I have seen a great vision. 2022 is your year of, love, of laughter. It's our year of laughter. So along the line, the time had now come that Joseph will be fulfilled. And the king sent for him because his heart was troubled by God. Because it is God that, that is programming everything. The king has to have a dream. All his wise people will fail him. And the only, only person that God has programmed to, to bring solution to this matter is Joseph whose time has arrived. Praise the Lord. I'm talking about living like royalty this morning. That is where you are stepping into in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In fact, if, if the moment the enemy says that you have become the king, they, they are very careful before they accuse you. Because you don't confront the king, you'll be dead. The king has power to speak a word and it becomes authority immediately. When the king speaks, you don't, you don't counteract the words of the king. Or you, the king will speak and give an edict and say, I have spoken. The next you will hear is, may you live long. That's all. Praise the Lord. You can argue with me. You can argue with the king. The palace officials will throw you in the dungeon. You may be there for 27 days. If the king is a very kind person. Praise the Lord. The same thing in this spirit realm. There are angels you don't see with your naked eyes who are guiding you. There are heavenly beings. They are following you. Your enemies don't know because their spiritual eyes are, are, are blindfolded. They cannot see that you are never alone. They cannot see that you are not alone. That God is with you. The very present help in time of need is with you. Emmanuel, God with us, is always there. He has appointed certain angels to guide you. But they did not know that some of these angels are merciless. You don't joke with them. You don't mess them up. But the moment you mess them up, they hit you. And you don't know where the trouble is coming. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. May your guidance angel continue to protect you. In the name of Jesus. And so Joseph was sent for a message. A call is coming out for somebody here today to start living like the king. Praise the Lord. And the moment the message came, did you see, did look at what I said. I, say, I, I love him so much. Why? Because he did not, because of the opportunity, jumped into it. Oh, the king is calling you. He looked at himself. I don't have to appear before the king like this. You, king's messenger, wait there. He took his time. He shaved. He changed his dress. The, the prison dress with the number that was on him had to change he never he never appeared before the king with prison uniform praise the lord praise the lord nobody can destroy the identity of the king nobody whatever wherever you wherever you are coming out somebody is coming out of dungeon of defeat today 
and you are going you are ascending your platform in the mighty name of jesus i can see new garment new anointing new favor new shoes now i can see a dazzling golden crown so upon your head today in the name of the father and of the son of the holy ghost and it shall be well with you it is a time for those who have been silent for a long time to hear about you and celebrate you hallelujah so he cleaned himself and happy let's read on Hallelujah. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, yeah. I have dreamed a dream, mm -hmm. and there is none that can interpret it. Ah. I have heard say of thee, mm -hmm. that thou canst understand a dream to interpret we it. All, we all know these stories. I want you to go to verse 41 right now. 40, 41. We know this story. And because of our time, I want us to go to verse 41 to 44. Let's go. And Pharaoh said to Joseph, Pharaoh said to Joseph, See, I have said thee over all the land of Egypt. Because Pharaoh himself has been surprised. Why? Pharaoh was the most powerful man on planet Earth that time. Egypt was the most powerful nation of their time. Praise the Lord. There was nothing like uh, America or Moscow or Russia and their powers in those days. It was Egypt. It was Egypt. If you want to, if you are hearing about anything at all relating to politics, to government and to governance, it is Egypt. Praise the Lord. So now, as powerful as Pharaoh was, he could not interpret his own dream. As famous and mighty, his wise men and sorcerers and all these evil spirited people that surround him, as, as popular, as, as famous as they were, none of them could do what Joseph was programmed to do. Excuse me, don't worry yourself. You are too special. Nobody can do what you are sent to do. Praise the Lord. The dream you are sent to interpret, no one else. Let them try it. They can get it, they can get some fake, but they can get the original. The original is given to you. That success, that breakthrough, that joy, that skill is yours and that of your children and nobody can take it from you in the mighty name of Jesus. The chair is prepared for you. You are the, it is, it is tailor made for you in the name of Jesus. Nobody will take your position. No one will take your glory. They tried to take Joseph's glory, but they couldn't get it. Nobody will take your glory. They tried to take his position, but they couldn't get it. Nobody will take your position. They tried to take his crown. They couldn't get it. Nobody can take your crown. They tried to take his status. They tried to take his identity. But it is not theirs. Nobody will take your identity. Nobody will take your grace. Nobody will take your favor. Nobody will take your protection. Your grace, your protection, your power is yours. It's all yours. It's all yours. Wave unto God. Say, I get mine. I get mine. I get mine. May God protect you. Shout hallelujah so when the man Pharaoh so that this is not an ordinary man something is about to happen in your life before the end of this year that even the enemies will be tired of pursuing you you know you can get to that level they will just look at you and call themselves to a meeting Summon themselves to a meeting and say, these people, we don't want to die one by one. Let us leave this one alone. Leave this one alone. And that time, you become a terror to the kingdom of darkness. You don't have time anymore thinking about them. They are now the one thinking about you. When they remember your name, the Bible says they appear one time and they are going to run seven times. When you are not even running after them, can you see living on living like royalty? Can you see how important it is when the enemy appear before you one time? The one appearing one time does not necessarily mean they are coming before you and you see them. No, no, no. The moment they remember your name, something happens to them. Something happened to them. The moment they remember your name and they want to think something evil, something strike them immediately. There is a power that covers you. The very present help in time of need will always be there for you when you are sleeping. The Lord that keeps Israel neither slumber nor sleep. The enemy cannot get you. Why? Because the sun shall not smite you by the day nor the moon by the night. These are the blessings of those who are living. 
like royalty. Your nakedness will never be uncovered. God is going to protect you, strengthen you, empower you, endow you with favor, with good people around you. Ladies and gentlemen, there are still good people. There are wonderful people. God is going to appoint many of them. Kings don't rule alone. You need some people around you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We call them chiefs in my place. Yeah, am I right, Daddy? We call them chiefs. The chiefs will sit around the throne with the king and they will be paying no business every time. Igwe or Kabiesi or whatever. That, that is it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You cannot fulfill your vision alone because you are living like royalty. It's a position of attractive force. He's going to draw goodness and mercy to you. Goodness and mercy will come your way. Now, goodness and mercy that you have long been looking for is now looking for you. Hallelujah. Remaining this, this year will bring you favor. Oh, Lord. Are you ready for this? Remaining this year will, will bring you victory. It will bring you victory. It will bring you favor. It will bring you blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. You will go from glory to glory, from success to success. Anywhere a king appears, whether they know that king before or not, the moment he comes down from the plane, every, the atmosphere will change. Yes. The atmosphere will change because they are, a, they are a kind of unusual entourage that will come to meet the king at the airport. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Joseph came from prison to palace. Can you see that? Can you see that dimension? A mighty miracle within 24 hours. Hallelujah. Let's read on. Watch this. And Pharaoh took off his ring from his hand. Ah, the zeal of a proverb, God is about to give it. To somebody here the king the king now that is giving you zeal of approval is who jesus who is giving it to you jesus who is giving it to you the lord jesus christ the lord is about to give you the zeal of approval anything you decree will be established anything you decree will be established whatever you cancel will be cancelled whatever you, you establish will be established in the mighty name of jesus and anything whatsoever you ask for in your prayer believe it you shall receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. That is the ring that the king will give to you this morning. Hallelujah. When you have that ring, the moment it is in your finger, you can decree anything and it shall be established. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, Joseph was given, the king gave him his ring. The ring is the symbol of authority. Praise the Lord. You have been given the symbol of authority. You have been given the the symbol of authority therefore you will rule praise the lord let's read on quickly and put it upon joseph's uh -huh. and arrayed him in virtues of fine linen and put a gold chain about his neck somebody who just left the dungeon let nobody laugh at you because some things are yet to manifest you don't know what happened in the next hour hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. Before the end of this year, as I, as I hear, I speak. Some people will be so dumbfounded about what God is going to announce in your life. I have received also to let you know that some people will have to celebrate you by force this year. Whether they like it or not, you are coming out. You are ascending your throne. You will begin to live like royalty. Sickness will see you and run away. Every element of terror will see you and run away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those who have said and we shall see what shall become of your dream. And they will see. They will surely see. Those who said we are going to see how she's going to make it. They will surely see it. Those who said we are going to see how she's going to get married. They will surely see it. Those who have said ah, we are going to, we are going to see how she's going to cross over to 2022. They will surely see it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the word of God says you shall not die, but live to declare 
the works of God. Hallelujah. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Every tongue that rests against you in judgment you will condemn. Hallelujah. This is the heritage of the people of the Lord and their righteousness is from me. Yes, the Lord God of us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If they appear before you one time, they will run seven times. Can you see that? When you are not even thinking about them, they are doing what? They are running away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you begin to live like royalty, everything, every glorious thing finds its way to you. And God silence your mockers. You, you, cannot, you cannot abuse, you can't abuse the king in his presence. You'll be dead. Well, if you want to make him out, maybe you go into one wilderness a thousand miles away from him. Eh? A thousand miles away. You abuse the king there to all the trees. There are no human beings there. Because if you do it where the human beings are, they will bring your message. In fact, if you do it there, the birds of the air will take your message to the king. And you are in trouble. Praise the Lord. God appointed the kings. They are God's representative in that kingdom. You mess them up, you mess up the instruction of the living God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So get yourself ready from today. You are not going to live like a pauper. You are going to live like proper king. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You will live like royalty. You will walk like royalty. You will eat like royalty. You, you will dress up like royalty. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Holy Ghost. I went to Homerton sometimes ago. Hospital. Just to pray for somebody. And a king came in to visit somebody. Do you know? Even the person, the sick people, the people on the bed, they were just jumping up. They just they wanted to see. They wanted to see who is this with great entourage. Uh -huh. They were just the person was so happy, and the sickness, whether permanently or temporarily, I cannot say, the sickness just disappeared immediately. He was so happy. He was so proud that the king came to look for him. How much more when Jesus, the, the king of glory, finds you, come to you, come to your mind, come to your bed, come to your home and says, here am I. He says, and you will call upon me and I will say, here am I. He is your father. He is the king of kings. He is the sanctifier, the healer. He says, I'm coming to you. When I come to you, I want to heal your land. I want to, I want to cry crown you. I want to remove cap and give you a crown. You deserve a crown. Every sickness, every pain disappears at the mention of the name of Jesus. Whatever you are going through, I come against it right now. Let every pain disappear by fire in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Read on. Let's and he made him to ride in the second chariot which he had. From the and prison. And cried before him. Uh -huh. Bowed the knee. Did you hear that? Him ruler over all the land of Egypt. Hallelujah. Did you hear that? You will live like royalty. Yesterday in the prison. This morning. Can you hear what is happening? Something is about to turn this morning. There is a turning of event. There is a turning of event. Ah, there is a turning of event in somebody's life here today. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Holy Ghost. If God did it for Joseph, he will do it for you. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 After receiving this, the, 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 the ring, the symbol of authority, he was dressed up like a king. He was given a crown like a king. And he was given the second chariot. Pharaoh said at that time, said Joseph said, I am Pharaoh. Without you, in the whole of Egypt, nobody will be able to lift a finger. Ah! Coming out of prison, he was not an Egyptian. 
don't forget a stranger when God, there is no stranger on this planet earth the land belongs to our father hallelujah you are kings and queens unto our God and we shall revelation 19 and we shall reign where on earth if you think you are going to reign in heaven do you want to overthrow the king there God is the king that reigns in heaven. That's why he is called the king. Oh, Lord. The king of kings and the Lord of lords. Praise the Lord. So he has created a kingdom for us here. You better do your reign here. Uh, I'm going to wear my crown in heaven. Yes. We will all wear crowns because anybody that, 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 that make heaven, you are going to have a crown. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I will have a crown. I will not miss heaven. Um, I am saying it in the mighty name of Jesus. It is not by power of my but by my spirit. Says the Lord God of hosts. I will find favor and grace in the presence of God. I will make heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to make heaven. I want to reign with him. Hallelujah. Do you know what we are going to be doing when we get to heaven? All the kings and queens unto our God. We are to reign on earth and when we get to heaven oh lord when we get to eternity praise god when we get you live like royalty he wants us to demonstrate here before we go there praise the lord when we get to heaven our joy will be so glorious it will be mighty when we see the lord jesus christ may god count us all worthy in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Live a holy life. Serve him. And your heart seems like good soldiers for Christ. Praise the Lord. The position he has planned for you, you will be there. You will make it to the top. You will ascend your throne. Turn your back to sinful activities. No matter what, in everything that came Joseph's way, he did not sin against God. Even when a woman offered herself, FOC, free of charge. He was coming, he was getting nearer to his vision, to his kingdom, to his crown, and the woman wanted to send him back. If he had allowed enjoyment of one minute to destroy his destiny, how painful would that be? Be very careful. Self-discipline is important. That's what I saw eh, saved Joseph. He said, and I do this and sin, not against, not against your husband. I do this and sin against God. I will not. And they created fear. False evidence appearing real. I mean, when you see somebody's clothes, he struggled to remove his neck from the clothes. He ran away and that was enough false evidence this is his cloth he wanted to rape me this is this stupid exile you brought in huh what an insolence what and he was jailed there are times you are lied against and there was no one to prove it to 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 to, to, to witness and to fight for you remember there is God. There is God. The unseen guest. To every man. And the silent listener to every conversation. He will see you through. Praise the Lord. He did it for Joseph. He will do it for you. Living like royalty. Let's go. Watch this. And Pharaoh said to Joseph. Before you get there. Watch this. Somebody who came out of prison. The reverse, reverse that verse. Read, read that verse. Read that verse. Let's go. And he made him to ride in the second chariot. Uh -huh. And he heard, and they cried before him. Uh -huh. hold hold, the hold, knee. Slow, slow down there. Can you see? Guess the first person to cry before Joseph. Potiphar himself. The most powerful man in the, in, in the kingdom of, 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 of Pharaoh. Potiphar was his boss who jailed him. 
the person that jailed him was the first to come before him and he said I hope that my Lord ah, we find a place in your heart to forgive your servant from Potiphar to Joseph the boss to slave condemned slave lifer what do you take God to be if he says I'm setting you on the planet on the on the on the platform of success this morning believe him trust God for everything trust him to answer your prayer trust him to take you to where he has promised you trust, trust him to make you head within the family trust him to take you out of, of, of horrible clay into, into, and set your feet upon the rock trust God for everything well even if there is no job on hand right now trust him to work wonders before the end of the year even if you don't have a good job you are just enduring what you are doing you are not enjoying it listen to me this morning trust God a change is about to take place trust God within 24 hours Joseph's story changed within the next 24 hours your story will change your story will change your story will change the Bible says everybody now they now bowed and they said before Joseph bowed in it. somebody who was forgotten to rot in jail died there they are now saying bowed in it. praise the Lord you will live like royalty so I declare today whatever if there are people who have, who have been behaving contrary to the purpose of God in your life if there are powers who have been working themselves against you it is not your power that has been protecting you the power that be the power that has been keeping you is not tired and will never be tired the Lord will never be tired of protecting his people forever oh Lord the Bible says your word is settled in heaven ladies and gentlemen trust the almighty God for everything trust him for favor trust him for protection trust him for power trust him with holiness trust him with righteousness trust him for everything serve the Lord serve the Lord in truth and in spirit hallelujah wake up from spiritual slumber you are the king you are the queen you are royalty you will experience the goodness of God can you imagine bow the knee for Joseph let's read on and he made him ruler over all the land of Egypt. He made him ruler over all the land of Egypt. Anything, anything they want to receive from the king, he doesn't answer them anymore. Go to Joseph. Go to Joseph. The king, we don't have food. Don't talk to me. Go to Joseph. How are we going to do? Our Greek is not going well. Go to Joseph. What are we going to do? The economy of the country is dwindling. Go to, to Joseph. The treasury is going low. Go to Joseph. Everything go to Joseph. He said, by this throne, will, by this throne only, will I be higher than you. Who do you think was speaking? God through Pharaoh. Hallelujah. God can turn the art of your worst enemy to your best friend. Or oh, you don't believe that? Within the next two months, within the remaining days this year, heaven will surprise you. I don't know who I'm talking to. You are about to come out of a dungeon. You are about to be released into liberty. You are about to receive your total freedom. You are about to have your dominion mandate. You will be fruitful. You will multiply. You are going to replenish the earth. You will subdue the earth. You will replenish the earth. You will influence the nations for the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. At this trying time, God is going to surprise you. Faithful coming your way. Blessing coming your way. As it came the way of Joseph. Joseph that has been forgotten and silenced in the dungeon now become a bogus name all over the land of Egypt. Within 24 hours, God is great. Praise the Lord. Let's read the next line. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, uh -huh. I am Pharaoh. I, we... Pharaoh said unto Joseph in front of everybody, I am Pharaoh. And without thee shall no man lift up his hand. Hold it, hold it. Let me tell you, there, there is one way Pharaoh used to describe himself. I am Pharaoh. God as man. Man as God. That is, that is the way he used to describe himself. Anywhere they see you or see your children, 
glory will manifest. Hallelujah. I am Pharaoh. Without you, Joseph, nobody will be able to lift their finger. Read on. I am Pharaoh. Uh -huh. And without this shall no man lift up his hand or foot in all the land of Egypt. Ah. In all the land of Egypt, this slave of yesterday, this prisoner of yesterday, is now going to become a voice to the nations of Egypt. Can I tell you one thing? He did not only become voice to the nations in Egypt, to the nations of the whole world. Because it was a terrible famine in that time that so many countries, so many nations were coming there to buy and they have to bow down to Joseph in order to get their problems solved. Praise the Lord. Your time has arrived, church. Your time has arrived. When the time of Joseph arrived, he started leaving automatically. Like what? Like royalty from the prison yesterday. Can you hear this? To hear that whatever this man says in the whole land and bread of the most powerful nations of that time, Egypt, whatever he says, is the final. The whole family they are waiting for you. A time has come when nobody will be able to hold any meeting, a family meeting until you arrive. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. May the almighty God empower your glory in the name of Jesus. Read on and let us close with this. And Pharaoh called Joseph's name in uh -huh. and he gave him to a wife. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Sephnath Pania. I think we need to know the meaning. Savior of mankind. From prison yesterday. Rejected yesterday. Frustrated yesterday. Lied against by Potiphar's wife. Huh? Lied against. Rejected. Forgotten in the prison, the dungeon. Hated by his own brothers. Sold into slavery by his own brothers. Look at it. Thrown into the, into, 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 into the pit by his own brother, brother. To be killed by scorpion. Sold into slavery. Sold into, into uh, Egyptian traders. Ishmaelite. May God save you from strange relatives. Is Ishmael not also part of Abraham? Why are they buying Abraham's seed? As slaves, as if they didn't know. Any power within the family line that want to enslave you will not succeed. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Read the next line and let us pray. He gave him to a wife, yeah. Ashna, the daughter of Potiphar. Said the, on, the, on, the only name I can give to you is Sephnath Pania because you are the savior. Of mankind. And that is the meaning of that name. And also. I'm not going to let you live. Without a woman. You see. All these things were just coming. Without costing Joseph a dime. To get married. A woman was given. And not just ordinary lady, the most beautiful among the people there. Not just being very beautiful, the daughter of the most influential chief. That's why they mention so that you can know that this is not uh, another. Read it again. Let's hear it. Let's hear and it again. He gave him to wife, uh -huh. Ashna, the daughter of Potiphar, priest Asena, of the on. daughter of what? Priest of on. The on. priest of on. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. They thought, the king thought within himself, this man is too much to marry from a common family. So I am going to give, whatever the king does is powerful. The family are so happy. When the king says, I, 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 I need your daughter, I'm giving to my, 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 my minister, my prime minister, uh, he's, going to, he's going to marry. It, everybody's just happy. 
the moment the, the whole thing just changed immediately all those who had hated joseph now became they became friends say by force some people will bow down to you by by fire by force in the mighty name of jesus can you hear what they what they were singing before joseph bow the name ah, everybody rise up on your feet bow the name bow the name oh lord all those who have messed up your name in the past we bow the name before you they will bow the name before you they're going to bow the name before you those who said you cannot become anything they are going to come down and bow the name and they will lift the dust off your feet your time is here you will arise and you will shine for the glory of god is risen upon your life in the name of the father in the name of the son in the name of the holy ghost those who thought your children cannot amount to anything right before their eyes they are going to run into trouble and put their solution in the, the in the hands of your children you will live to see the success of your children you will enjoy the fruit of your labor your children will do the best for you they are going to make you happy a source of joy a source of revelation a source of inspiration begin to live like royalty your time is here begin to live like, like royalty your children are about to explode in the name of the father in the name of the son in the name of the holy ghost God remember Joseph in the prison God will remember you today you are coming out you are coming out you are coming out Joseph knew he was coming out he will come out one day that's why he told the man when it is well with you in the palace where you are going remember me although he did not remember him but when his time arrived God created a situation something is about to happen that will let the end the entire letter breath of your family to know that you are special Amen. hallelujah hallelujah I declare in the name of Jesus I command today you will live like royalty. Joseph started. Where, where did he get this economic policy that he introduced? God gave him. You are unusual. He didn't go to Harvard University to study it. Where did he get it? He said, he said the king, this is the revelation. And this is what you have to do. And the king said, all these things you have said. There is nobody as wise as you are. You are the one that mapped out this strategy. You, you have to be there. You are the only one that will do it. He saved the nations. He saved even Israel. Because many people used to come and buy there too. He saved other nations, other African nations. He saved them. Praise the Lord. The whole of Africa at that time was going, was going to Egypt. In North Africa. They are going to Egypt to, to, to buy food. Praise God. Because somebody whose time has arrived has strategized, you will see well. Joseph saw well and it came into fulfillment, you will see well. So I declare by the authority of the King of Glory upon my life, if there is anything in your life right now that is causing confusion, is not making you happy, whether it is job, whether it is singleness, whether it is sickness, I command that thing to disappear by fire in the name of the Father, in the name of the son in the name of the holy ghost may your joy be full your joy will 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 be full you will live like royalty live like royalty think like royalty in the name of jesus thank you father lift up your voice and let's make a joyful noise unto the king of kings Joyful noise, joyful noise, shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. God bless you.